Today's story is about a man named Caleb. Caleb was one of twelve spies sent by Moses to explore the land of Canaan, the promised land. The Israelites have been living in the desert after being delivered from slavery in Egypt. Moses knows that God has promised them a fantastic land. And at God's command, he sends some men to explore the land of Canaan. Joshua and Caleb are two of the spies that go. So for our game today, we're going to be looking at things on the tray. And then I'm going to hide them over. And then you've got to decide which one's bit gone missing. So on the tray, we've got grapes. We've got a flower, we've got some glasses, some bread, a screwdriver and some water. Let's give you a couple of minutes to look and then I'm going to cover it up. Right, are you ready? What's gone? <gasps> wonder if you've realised what it says. There's something here. And it was the bread. Well done if you've got it. Let's have another go. Ready? Oh! What went that time? Have a Good luck and see. It was something that was here. It was the grapes. Well done if you got it. Let's go. Let's see. Are you ready? Oh, what's gone this time? I think it might be something that was here, but also something that was here. Have you got it? Let's see. It was the glasses and the flower. Well done if you got them all.
binoculars you'll need two tubes like these and then either decorate them paint them I've used wrapping paper to decorate mine wrap them up stick them together and then if you want to you can put two holes in the side either side and put some um, string over so you can have them around your neck or oh, if you just want to leave them like that, that's fine. And then there you go. You can look through them and see the world. Have fun creating. God told Moses, Send men to scout out the land of Canaan. I am giving this land to the Israelites. Moses sent out one leader from each family tribe. He told the men what to do. Go see what the land is like and whether the people who live there are strong or weak, few or many. Moses had a lot of questions. Is the land good or bad? Are the cities they live in camps or forts? Is the land good for farming? Are there any trees? Moses said, be courageous. So the men went and scouted out the land. They traveled around the land for 40 days. They cut down a cluster of grapes in the valley and carried it on a pole. Then they went back to Moses, Aaron, and the Israelite community to tell them what they saw. The land is good. It is flowing with milk and honey, they said. But the people living in the land are strong and the cities they live in are large and well protected. Then Caleb, one of the spies, said, We must go up and take possession of the land. We can certainly conquer it with God's help. But the other men disagreed. The people are stronger than we are. We look like grasshoppers compared to them. The Israelites were afraid and they cried all night. They thought Moses and Aaron had brought them to Canaan to die. The Israelites said, let's appoint a new leader and go back to Egypt. Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before the Israelites. Joshua and Caleb, who had both scouted out the land, tore their clothes and said to the Israelites, the land is extremely good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will give it to us. Don't be afraid of the people living in the land. God is with us. The Lord spoke to Moses. How long will these people despise me? How long will they not trust me? God threatened to destroy all the people, but Moses said, please forgive the wrongdoing of the people. I know you are great, faithful, and loving. God replied, since you have asked, I will forgive them. But none of them who despise me will live to see the promised land of Canaan. Since Caleb and Joshua had followed God completely, God would let them enter the promised land. God said that the Israelites, who did not trust God, would face consequences for their sin. They would wander in the wilderness 40 years, and they would not enter the promised land. All of the spies who went to scout out the land died, except for Joshua and Caleb. Caleb and Joshua trusted God, 
God planned for Joshua to lead the next generation of Israelites into the promised land. Joshua was not perfect, but his faithfulness reminds us of Jesus, who is perfect. Jesus obeyed the Father and trusted his plan to save people from their sins. Good morning, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the story, but let's see how well you was listening. Ten out of the twelve spies were so scared when they left Canaan. Do you know why? That's right. They saw only the difficulties. They didn't really believe that God could overcome the challenges that lay ahead. How Joshua and Caleb were different. Do you know why? They saw the same things, but knew that God would keep his promises. How do you think how hard it would have been to speak out against the other spies? And why did they do that? Yeah, it must have been really hard. And they did it because they didn't want all of God's people to lose out on going into the amazing promised land. But more importantly, they knew how bad it would be for God's people to stop trusting their father and disobey him. It may have been worth mentioning that God's people had spent 40 years more living in the desert as a real result of their lack of faith. Have you ever been in a situation where you have had to stand out against the crowd and do something different that God would want them you to do? For example, making friends with someone unpopular or being kind to someone everyone else is teasing. Just like Caleb trusted God totally in diff difficult situations, we can do the same. So for this activity, you'll need an A4 piece of paper, split down the middle, and then on one side, put things that can make trusting God difficult, and on the other side, Things that help us trust God. And then think of what they're asking. And write some things down on each side. On mine for trusting God difficulty is situations and people. But helping us trust God, I've put his love for us, his faithfulness and he keeps his promises. Let's see what you can pick up on as well. So for this craft, we're going to make a picture of grapes. I've used mine by using purple paper and green for the leaves. The purple circles are the grapes and I've stuck them on a piece of paper. But you could use um, paint and do finger painting for your grapes or you can use other things you might come up with different um, ways of doing them but have fun and don't get too messy will you for our prayers today we're going to think about how we can trust God and what we've done is we've got found a lolly stick like we used last week. And I've put, dear God, I can trust you because, and I've put, that he loves me. And I've drawn a heart at the side. I'm going to put that in my prayer jar to keep reminding me that even when in the heart, darkest and hardest times, 
God is always there and he will help me get through that time. Lord God, we thank you that we can trust in you. That you are our God, our Heavenly Father, who is always there to help us. So Lord, I just pray that you help us each each and every one of us, Lord, this week, through the, the good times and through the bad times, Lord. Amen. Today's memory verse is taken from Numbers, chapter 14, verse 24. My servant Caleb is different. He follows me completely.